All right. Let's see what we got here. This this type of hand is is actually about as awkward as the one landers. But I think we'll keep the issue is um flooding obviously. And like if if we just draw a couple lands, okay, metamorphose is pretty much the best here, so Since it's gonna trigger ascension, draw us another card, and do all that for free. All right, we're up against some sort of Bant Eldrazi deck. It appears Eldrazi, how unique! get that. So Thought Knot here will be an issue. Assuming it's coming. It's not coming. Just a displacer? No. Another reshaper. That's okay. That's this is fine. He looks not bad, not bad. Can take out the hierarch. If need be. Actually, looting's a pretty great draw as well. Uh, let's go ahead and do it, since we can metamorphose after this. Uh, so... Discard Visions. That allows our, our other visions to activate Ascension. So I could wait on this helix. I actually probably should have played um, just visions and played this tapped if I didn't draw anything. But now I think we're metamorphosing for just uh, double blue since I I want to get full value off the helix. And this is pretty good too, since we'll get to double thought scour at the very least. Or double serum visions. Even better. Another ascension. I think we're fine. Super fine. Okay, bolt is good. All these lands, not so much. Alright, so we have active ascension. Next turn we can helix, bolt, and thought scour. Which actually takes out pretty much everything. If this is like a reality smasher, 
Yes, it is. I think I have to discard two cards though for Lightning Helix against uh, Reality Smasher, which is annoying. But acceptable since we're drawing a million cards, anyways. Literally a million. Ooh. Don't mind that. Man, the tax, the ascension tax here. Alright, so... We have 18 bolt damage, if it all goes at the face. But we can also just take out two shapers and then draw a bunch of cards. Depending on what the opponent does. Gonna stir up some trouble. So based on that, I think I want to play the longer game, because we can't, um, just take this hit. Forest and something, something else, and of course, Reality Smasher. Why wouldn't it be Reality Smasher? So let's see what we draw. Alright, so... Can again do 18... much more burn do we have? Actually, I guess 
we have to helix uh, off one of the smashers because we can't survive. <laughs> we're, we're exactly 10, so. Have to helix the smasher, discard these two. Hope we draw visions of beyond. Maybe I want to keep Faithless, discard a lightning bolt. Probably winning through Thing in the Ice at this point anyways. I might need the Faithless looting to dig for uh, Vision. Visions of Beyond. If I hit Visions of Beyond, I'm, in, I'm golden. This is really annoying. <laughs> Alright, for sure that. How many visions? Three visions are gone already? Nah. I guess I'll just get rid of the looting then. Save the bolt. Since I can flash back the looting. If the game ever slows down enough. Hopefully our opponent doesn't have another creature. Perfect. And we drew a card draw spell, which is also highly relevant. Oh. So I probably just want to double helix this. Keep the lightning bolt. Or I could go face. I have all my things left. draws me two cards and then I can just bolt that oh wait I can remand my remand that's actually highly relevant free remand Yeah, I don't want that to resolve. The slow ascension versus smasher grind. I 
I'm just gonna discard that. I guess the Ascension was probably better than the Remand. I just, this isn't actually all that great for cycling, even when you Remand your own Remand, because you just draw a card and then get the Remand back. And my opponent has infinite mana and infinite Cavern of Souls. Anyways. Actually, I can cast this and then Remand the original. Wait. I guess that's pretty good. <laughs> that's actually quite good. These are some sneaky little remand interactions. So if I remanded that, <laughs> if I helixed my opponent, then remanded that and the helix, yeah, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to copy remand, get to draw a card off of that remand, then get to remand this helix, get to make a new helix, helix him, profitable, profit! The old 8 counter ascension. Stop milling ourselves. Hopefully we still have lands we can get. Hallowed Fountain. No, Hallowed Fountain's gone. So this this can still get island, but Alright. 
that's all I can get. Just four thing in the ices still. These are charged up. That was probably foolish. If he had have drawn a displacer or a drowner, it would have been actually annoying. I should have for sure kept that up. And now that we have thing, things are going to go much smoother. It's annoying you can't right click these until you're already. Like this is so dumb. This whole system, that's why I never use it. So we still have another bolt that instantly wins us the game. This wins us the game. The perfect Jeskai deck takes forever to win. Bolts, things. Okay. I don't want to add more to this whatever this is. <laughs> to stop out of yes. Always yield. That's what we want. So I don't want to deck myself here. Alright, there's the bolt. Good. And now I've yielded to it, so I can't cast the bolt. <laughs> the maximum awkwards, no matter what I do. Alright, finally. 
Finally. Paths are good. Bolts are good. Angers are good. Blood moons are good. Helix on the draw. Probably can avoid having too many. And then shave some visions. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Um. Wonder if I want the full ama amount of blood moons if we're bringing in paths as well. Maybe just like that. Two blood moons seems good. I mean, if we draw it, that's fine. If we don't, that's fine. It's not essential, I would say. And I don't really want to draw multiples. This hand is great. Tons of removal and an ascension. And mismatched helixes. Interesting start here. I still say we just run out the ascension. I mean, there's a chance for negate. Or something. Ooh, that's what's happening. That's what's up. Thought nuts. The thought nuts do have path. Redundant paths. Two paths converged in the wood, and I chose the one less exiled. What the... Took the bolt. Alright. Mm, yeah, let's thought scour. Try and mise something in the into the graveyard first. Helix. And we even drew the the island so we could serve visions. Another path. We might just be path overloaded. On the other hand, um, we do draw a card off this. Yeah, let's take it. Smashy, smashy. Ugh. Mm, saves us a life to do it now, I guess. I actually want the cards, though card is relevant if it's a blue draw spell. We can path and then I guess we can't double draw since this isn't activating it yet. Visions. So we'll path this, path the next Smasher he plays, and then we can start going off with Helixes and 
uh, visions. Card draw. Oh. Wow, no second smasher. What a surprise. Drowner, maybe. Drowner, certainly. Well, glad we had all the paths, I guess. It's a lot of burn. And we're just going to cash in. Cash in now. One mana draw two. What a deal. There's Blood Moon. I think I'll just take it and see what, what our opponent does. Alright, another drowner. So we actually want to helix it twice. I don't think we can burn face. Oh wait, we actually have lethal now. Over the course of two turns, have exactly lethal if we're not disrupted. So we could, we go up to sixteen. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we're going for it. There's not too much that's going to stop us. Reality Smasher doesn't kill us. If we draw a land, we can just play this. If we draw that, we can just play this. Okay. I like it. I like it. Might as well just do it now. Opponent has infinite mana anyways. I suppose if they... Actually, if they thought knotted, I would probably want to do it to the thought knot. So, yeah, that I should I should have just went to one here. Alright. Alright. 
kind of need this to work now because we're dead otherwise. Alright, looks like it's working. Sweet! Exaxes. That's how to do it. Helixes to the face.